one of the islands, I think it may be in Holy Island as a matter of fact, anyway, they had set up targets and they're on the beach. Now, in England, around the coast, they had put up steel um, anti-invasion uh, structures, like a fence, quite quite high with with um, uh, steel, which was contigu contiguous. And they'd put it on the island, too, and, and about, oh, I don't know, 50, 100, a couple of hundred yards was the targets. And another friend of mine said, look, I'm going to beat you in this thing, hands down, so look out. So <laughs> he went out, and uh, sure enough, he did a very good uh, job. So I said, well, I'm going to do better than that. So I decided that I would come down slowly on the, <laughs> was on the stall and creep up onto it, and then a very short burst, and then put on full, full throttle and pull away. This seat, it was cheating in a way, but it, anyway, that was, that was, I was going to win the, in the competition. Well, <clears throat> uh, when you are actually looking through the sight of a gun sight, you, send, you tend to lose some of the perception as to where you are relative to the target. So I was coming in on this thing and the target was getting bigger and I was getting happy and I pressed the thing and then pulled forward and then I heard a bang. And, of course, uh, the engine started to rev rather badly. <laughs> well, of course, what had happened, I'd, I was at a, I'd hit the propeller, it was a steel propeller, on the top of this fence. And so I came back very quietly and landed. And the CO said, what are you done to my aircraft? I said, well, I think it was <laughs> this perception <laughs> problem. <laughs> looking <laughs> through the gun sight, and I just tipped the propeller. <laughs> and he said, well, he said, at least there's one thing. He said, you did a, you got the best of the scoring, <laughs> but you mucked up one of my aircraft, and I don't like it. <laughs>